So right away, I knew my son Grayson was different. I knew when uh, a year and a half, he wasn't talking and he wasn't walking. And um, the most he had ever slept at a time was 45 minutes. Usually it was about 20 minutes. And I took him to the doctor and he said, if I was a younger doctor, I would have said that he's got autism. He said, but you know, this could be just developmental. He said, as long as he keeps growing, just you know, keep watching him as long as he's developing. And he kept developing and it wasn't pretty. <laughs> It wasn't pretty. I was oftentimes overwhelmed. I think most days and years I lived my life in the state of overwhelm, scared. I grew up with a dad with a horrible temper and to have a child with a horrible temper that I was scared of it was really hard and I knew he was little and it was still scary to watch because one is just, I don't know, brings back a lot of hard times, but also to know as a mom that I didn't know what to do or how I could do anything or will this ever get better? I mean, I've seen my dad as an adult and his really hasn't improved. Um, Grayson had a concussion when he was swimming and he didn't get his hand up at the wall and so he, instead he swam into the wall um, head first versus stopping himself with his arm. And so after that, then the school sent him to a doctor and so many months later, he still wasn't doing his recess. And I said, this is a child that needs to move and be active and, and socialize. They said, oh, well, then he needs to get tested. So sure enough, he now has ADD, dyslexia, depression, and anxiety. And I just said, well, this is my son, I know. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've met him before. This is no surprise, but he's doing pretty good. And then COVID hit, and that was when things really, you know, really hit rock bottom. And he was just about catatonic. He would just sit in his room, staring at the wall, twirling his hair until he was getting a big bald spot. And I couldn't get him to eat. I was even just trying to make him like little protein power smoothies, just saying, just drink this ounce. And he wouldn't do it. And I was so scared. And luckily I knew of Dr. Eamon. I knew of Eamon Clinic and I knew I had hope because I'd seen so many people through just hearing their stories. So I brought him in for his brain scan. And the first thing we did was we met with Dr. Mina and he showed Grayson what a beautiful brain he had. So he's actually very interested in this. He's thinking about this. And then they showed him the brain scan where he was supposed to be resting, the, the active one. That was when they were telling him how beautiful that was. But then they showed him the one where he was resting and it looked exactly like the active one and there was no difference and you could just see how active his mind was. A couple things that Dr. Admina had talked about after looking at the scans of the active versus the inactive and you could see that they were both extraordinarily overly active or more active I should say than what what is norm or probably optimal. Um, so one thing he started him on supplements, which I'm so glad that I had him to work through because I was familiar with supplements, but for him to find the right thing that worked specifically for him, and we tried a couple different things, I think that really helped. Right now, at this point, I can say, this is the trajectory from what I, I saw and thought when he was little to where he is today is like night and day. I mean, if he just stays on this path, then I have no concern about him.